In the annals of Chinese history, one name stands out as a symbol of power, ambition, and innovation, Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. But beyond his military conquests and the construction of the Great Wall, Emperor Qin left behind a culinary legacy that continues to tantalize taste buds centuries later. Before starting, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos. 2. Historical Context During the reign of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, China underwent a period of immense transformation. It was a time of great cultural, political, and economic change. As the ruler of a vast empire, Emperor Qin understood the importance of food not only as sustenance, but also as a symbol of power and prestige. Three culinary innovations under Emperor Qin's patronage, Chinese cuisine witnessed unprecedented innovation and refinement. Chefs experimented with new cooking techniques, ingredients, and flavor combinations to create dishes fit for royalty. From delicate dumplings to succulent roasted meats, the imperial kitchen became a hub of culinary creativity. 4. The Emperor's Favorites Emperor Qin Shi Huang was known for his discerning palate and extravagant appetite. Among his favorite dishes were Peking duck, braised pork belly, and hot and sour soup. He also had a penchant for exotic delicacies such as bird's nest soup and shark fin soup, which were reserved for special occasions. Emperor Qin Shi Huang was known to enjoy various beverages, but his favorite drink was reportedly a type of fermented rice wine called Ju in Chinese. This traditional Chinese alcoholic beverage was popular during the Qin Dynasty and would likely have been served at imperial banquets and gatherings. In addition to rice wine, Emperor Qin Shi Huang likely enjoyed other traditional Chinese beverages such as tea, particularly green tea, which has been a staple in Chinese culture for centuries. It's also possible that he indulged in herbal teas or medicinal concoctions as they were commonly consumed for health and well-being during that time. Additionally, he might have sampled imported drinks from regions under his control, such as wine from the western regions of China or exotic beverages from conquered territory. 5. Legacy and Influence The culinary legacy of Emperor Qin Shi Huang continues to inspire chefs and food enthusiasts around the world. His emphasis on quality ingredients, meticulous preparation, and bold flavors laid the foundation for what is now considered classical Chinese cuisine from the imperial courts to the streets of modern-day China, his influence can be tasted in every bite. 6. Conclusion Though his reign may have ended centuries ago, the culinary contributions of Emperor Qin Shi Huang endure as a testament to his enduring legacy. Through his passion for food and innovation, he elevated Chinese cuisine to new heights and forever changed the way we experience the flavors of the Middle Kingdom. In the vast tapestry of human history, few elements have woven themselves more intricately into the fabric of culture than food and drink. From the humblest of meals to the grandest banquets fit for royalty, our choices and sustenance reflect not only our physical needs but also our social, cultural, and even spiritual values. As we reflect on the culinary journey of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, we are reminded of the profound impact that food and drink have had on shaping societies throughout the ages. From his lavish feasts to his discerning palate, Emperor Qin's legacy serves as a testament to the power of gastronomy to unite, inspire, and enrich the human experience. Whether savoring a simple bowl of noodles or indulging in an elaborate banquet, let us continue to celebrate the rich diversity of flavors, textures, and traditions that nourish our bodies and feed our souls. For in the shared experience of breaking bread and raising a toast, we find not only sustenance but also communion with our fellow beings across time and space.